Hello, this is Nate Kaufman, and we're talking about Viewpoint Teams RFI management today. It's a cloud-based collaborative environment for project managers and people that are internal, external to your organization to collaborate on a project. And we're specifically going to talk right now about RFI management. And first thing, as we click into it, we'll find an RFI log. And you have all kinds of different ways that you can slice and dice this information. You know, if I just want to look at all open RFIs or closed ones or high priority, we have toolboxes and ways to configure those to get you exactly what you're looking for. Anyway, so to give you a real quick, we will go and create an RFI to give you a quick idea. And right here, we have kinds of different types. These are gonna be definable by you. You're going to be able to, to define who you want it to go to on your project team. And additional responders give it a subject. And if that's all I needed to say or do, I could send it on its way right away. However, if I wanted, there's more information I could put it here. I could link it to a spec section, drawing reference. We could give it a low, medium priority, and we can even do things like statuses. It's a new one, link to a cost schedule, ROM, drawing impact, put an internal note, add attachments, and send it on its way. Where that would go out of team into someone's who you're going to, their email. Um, and what I want to show you one that's similar to that is this 67 right here has been automatically routed around, right? Initially it went, you could see the author, you can see the date, time, where it came from, currently where it's sitting. But we've also drug a bunch of information, either we either linked to existing drawings that are in our drawing management system, we've uploaded attachments, we have all kinds of history, nice tracking mechanism here to see if people looked at something, if not looked at something, see if what they've done. So we got a full audit trail going on there uh, for your for your uh, for checking that out. Now. Once that would come, if you would see here, this is that same one that came into my email inbox, you would see everything that would be on here. Um, and the nice thing about the, the way team functions is that if I really wanted to answer this, hey, I could use that link and go right into this form and answer it within the actual RFI or I could have someone, or in this case, my, my, my user say, I just want to reply. And so that reply would go out in normal email that says, um, you can choose whatever you want, right? And so this will actually come back in for additional responses. And I'm gonna send that on its way. And so that will actually eventually come right back into the responses um, within that RFI. So a nice way for collabor collaboration. Other things that I would like to point out really quickly is, hey, I can relate to an existing record or create one. And so an example there is if I wanted to create a new submittal, a new issue, a new form, and send that and attach that to this communication, that capability is there. And one last thing um, when we're, we're talking about this, obviously, since it's a cloud-based application, there's a mobile app too, right? So as, as you can see, this is the same RFI that we're talking about here. And in, uh, from a mobility standpoint, you'll have in the field, on your smartphone, on your tablet, you'll have that same capability to do anything. If I wanna add a relationship, if I wanna see what it was, if I wanna respond, if I wanna forward it, if I wanna mark it as answered, I have that total capability that we're all linked and we're all talking off the same data. So I appreciate your time today. Thank you.